you've been very critical of this federal election campaign for avoiding debate on social policies and issues of equality. So you started the Good Society Policy Network. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're trying to achieve with this network? I think I'm trying to hurry up the demise of neoliberalism, to get away from the idea that economics is the only discipline worth following, and a flaw that unfortunately both progressive and non-progressive movements share in this area, which is an assumption that the economy and the materialism is all that really counts. Marx got that one wrong. So did markets. There's actually more to life than what we exchange and material goods and money and capital and all of those things there. It's a very limited view of what's important. Now, social policy is that area of policy which is not necessarily involved in the increase in GDP, though the way it's been defined at this particular time is that it increases GDP. And for instance, childcare is now only available to women who are in paid work so that they can increase GDP. So we've got this move away from the idea that social well-being is important, that being a good citizen is important, that being part of a society is being important, of contributions, be, unpaid contributions being important. So I was trying to actually stimulate the progressive movements and those people out there that see themselves in that thing can think seriously about what I'm saying. Is because I think generally progressive movements have become great whingers. We're very good at identifying what's wrong, we're very good at turning up for the odd demo or having a campaign on one particular issue of what's wrong. But there's been a signal lack of alternatives about what's right. Ever since the Blairites and New Labour and Keating and Hawke here accepted the idea that we had to pick up the economic market model because then we could sort of tidy it up a bit around the edges so it was nicer. The left has really failed to bring anything out, apart from if you happen to be a Trotskyite and still believe in the revolution. I think we need to get some feminist leadership, because maybe we'll get past this materialist stuff, to try and work out what makes a good society and how do we put it together. What creates the sort of environment we want to live in, that we can rear children, we can know our neighbours, we can spend time, we can be creative, we can do all of those things that don't necessarily pay for, through the economy. Economics is a very limited discipline which only really deals with a small proportion of what matters. So I think we need to really focus on putting together good policy ideas about what makes a good society, about setting up social goals and then looking at economic means. And until we get there we can continue turning up in demos and signing petitions and doing all of that trivia. But what we have to do is offer solutions, not just complaints.